staying with Tima Free Clinics, but in Malaysia, Suci held the seventh large-scale free clinic in Samparita Sabah this year. The free clinic involved over 400 medical volunteers and even 75 vehicles, as it took over three hours by car to reach Samparita from Kota Kinabalu. Let's take a look. People living in mountainous areas typically don't have access to enough medical resources. Therefore, Tima members from five Malaysian states went to hold a free clinic for people in Samparita. Tima members and Tsiji volunteers travel on 75 buses and four-wheel vehicles for three hours to reach Samparita. Kota Marudu is quite big. It has 166 villages with over 70,000 people. The villages are scattered across the mountain. The free clinic is held at a local school. Tima provides 10 medical departments so poor, sick people in the mountain can receive proper treatment. It was Omar Kwan, an official with the Health Bureau, who made this free clinic possible in Samparita. In Koto Marudu, Samparita, we have a lot of people. In Samparita, Koto Marudu, we have a lot of people who don't have cars or motorbikes to take them to cities to see doctors. So by cooperating with Tsuji to have a clinic here, we can give them as much medical help as possible. We can give them as much medical coverage as possible. In addition to the free clinic at the school, Tima also has six medical stations to provide home visitations for people who cannot leave their homes. The language barrier is also a major test for these medical teams. When we explain the medicine, we try to use their local language. Even though they don't understand, they will still nod and say they understand. So we must be quite careful to make sure that they really understand. The flea clinic started at 8 in the morning. At the end of the day, over 2,300 people were treated. Tsiji volunteers and Tima members work diligently to protect the health of these people living in remote mountain areas. <laughs>